Welcome here everyone. In order to supervise your iPhone using a Windows computer, no data loss, you do need to be running iOS 9.3.5 or newer. The latest iOS will always be supported. Once you've verified that, let's move to the Windows computer. Head over to supervise.me on your computer. We're going to click on get started. We are then going to see our backup bot and we're going to click on the Windows download here. It says file not downloaded security risk. Our backup bot has existed for 10 years. It's perfectly safe. So click on the arrow and then allow the download. We are then going to download iTunes with this Windows link here. So click on this and our iTunes will download. We are then going to click on the supervised backup like this. And we can see we have the supervised.zip. So from here, we are going to set up our backup bot. We're going to set up iTunes. Once we've done this, we're going to click on the Windows button. We're going to click on the power and you need to restart your computer. Otherwise, you're going to have problems. On the iPhone itself, you're going to open up the home page of settings. You are then going to tap on your name. You are then going to tap on find my and find my iPhone or iPad and then tap on this toggle to turn off the Find My. You can turn back on Find My after you have installed the delayed OTA software update, but for now this must be off. After you have removed Find My iPhone, I want you to hold down the power and volume down key together. You're going to slide the power off, and once the device is off, you're going to hold down the power button, and then we're going to turn back on the iPhone. After the restart, we're going to unlock our iPhone or iPad and you want to leave it on the home screen. Don't play around, stay on the home screen. And now let's move back to the computer. Now we're going to connect your iPhone to the computer. As it's on the home screen, you're going to see a trust message. Just tap on trust and enter in your passcode. We can now open up iBackup bot like this. Once you've opened iBackup bot, you're going to get a thousand and one errors. Just click on no for any prompts. And if there's an OK message, just click on OK. Now let's click on the iPhone. We can see iOS 16.0.1. This is my iPhone 14 plus. We are now going to open up the file explorer. We're going to click on downloads. We're going to see the supervised zip file. We're going to click on it and then extract all and then extract. This will take a couple of seconds depending on your storage. We now see this folder so we can now proceed. So go back into iBackupBot and you're going to click on the open backup button. You're going to click into the downloads, supervised, add supervision, supervise and when you see no items match your search click on select folder. We are then going to click on the plus where it says add supervision. We're going to click on system files. We're going to search for config. Click on enter. You will see configuration profiles. Click on this and then click on restore. It's going to ask for a password. I'll put that on screen. It's 1111 and then we'll click on OK. This backup will only restore the supervision on your device. All of the other files will remain the same. But one thing which will change is your region on the iPhone. It will be reverted to a UK keyboard and a UK system language. And I'll show you how to change that back in a little bit. We are now done with the computer. So the final steps are on the device itself. On the iPhone itself, we see the hello screen. We are going to enter in our passcode. You don't need to enter in a Wi-Fi network because it will automatically connect. The important part is this. You must select don't transfer apps and data. If you restore from a backup, you're going to lose your data. No joke. Don't transfer means everything stays the same. It will ask for your Apple ID password. You want to enter this one in now. Welcome to iPhone. And when we go to the settings, you can see here this iPhone is supervised and managed by supervised.me.